Hey yo, this is Dash. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so... Our time is all said and done. Here we go. Here is our new rack. Or my new rack. And, uh... I am... So one of the things... Hopefully you can see, this is why I put the, the cut edge on this side. You can see that the cut edge is uh, it's rough, you know. And I put the so I put the nicer machine edge, what came with the the cut in the front, and um, in the back is the edge that I cut as well. So now one of the things that I would like to do is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get some clamps and clamp this down and tack it up. I'll be back out here tomorrow and I'll get my fire going. I'm gonna spray this down with some uh, some Pam. Get it nice and hot. You know, burn off any of this stuff, manufacturing oils or things like that. Even though this has been sitting in the garage for a while, so uh, I don't really think I have to worry about that. But nonetheless. <laughs> Nonetheless, I'm gonna go ahead and get it uh, welded up, and uh, I'm gonna be done, cause uh, it's probably going to 1.30. Uh, it's 1.25, let me see if I can hurry up and get this done in five minutes. It dawned on to me that some of you guys, or maybe have never seen what a weld looks like. And you, so let's see if I can get this to work. Because of the fact that one, I'm out of shielding gas, and two, I'm welding uh, at like arm's reach around the camera, those were crap welds that I really, I mean, that was just hopefully to try to give you a demonstration. Now, if I had some sort of device to, you know, something to set up my stick, because now I'm looking through the viewfinder, through the welding hood. I'm holding the welding hood in one hand and the uh, the welding in the other. And those are, again, crap 
plus the fact that I don't have any shielding gas is only going to I mean this is pretty much a throwaway piece I am uh, well good thing is I'm done Goodness, I really appreciate you guys watching, sticking around, watching me actually fabricate this, and this was just elaborate practice. Um, I probably will use this particular rack for a while, but um, I'm gonna have to make it over again. Here, not thinner material, smaller material. Uh, the, I think the gauge on this is, this is um, three, 3 16 so it's uh, slightly above uh, eighth inch and I can probably step down to and I'm looking at the what's in the smoker already I believe that's 11 gauge which is eighth inch and it's either half inch or three quarters only I really you know it's kind of difficult to take a tape measure up to it to get the exact it's just with metal <sighs> excuse me with metal, the dimensions are a little weird. So, nonetheless, I'm not gonna pick the rack up because I know it's hot and uh, actually, oh, the heck with it. Let me go ahead and get it inside the smoker. Here we go again. On that back, sh on this back shelf, because of the fact that I took a, because I took a single piece of angle and bent it from here and here, and then I put a straight piece in, and made it meet on the back. Um, it is slightly higher than I have clearance for uh, over there, um, because now, if I get it past there, it should be uh, good. Obviously, all I have to worry about <sighs> maybe I should just turn the grid around. I don't know how to. That's the. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Ugh. When I overlapped this piece, this is sitting higher than, um, than I have clearance for on that rail. So at this point, I rather hate to, but we're going to grind some of this off. And it's, you know, like I said, it's just in this corner because of this piece here. So, let's get it back up there and see what it does. We're good. So take a step back, and again, this was pretty much all for not for not, but uh, it was practice. Um, I'm gonna get out here tomorrow morning, fire the smoker up, get um, 
get it up to temperature and I will Crisco it down. Well, not Crisco. I'll use some uh, cooking spray, get it all ready. And then I'm gonna get my cook started and I'll be cooking all day tomorrow. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching this. <laughs> See me um, expand the cooking capacity on my smoker. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Come on back and uh, see me now that I have my welder back up and running. What? Fabrication. I mean, fabrication has already started. So I need to get better. I feel like I'm out of practice. It's been like six months probably since I welded anything, since I've melted metal. So getting back into it, I don't think I did too, too bad tonight. Of course, you know, the major problem was the fact that I ran out of shielding gas. So thank you again, as always, for watching. If you learned something, leave a comment down below and a thumbs up, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. All right, so I'm out of the smoker, and I figured I could not, not show you if my shelf worked or not. So, you guys ready? Bessie looks like she's ready. All right, I'm not keeping the door open for very long, but I do have 10 whole briskets in there. 10 whole briskets, and then there is 130 plus pounds of, uh, well, it was 130 pounds uncooked pork shoulder. So, taking care of a big event. I told you, 300 plus people. 300 plus people means a lot of food. Uh, all right. So here we go. Um, I was able to go and I got a replacement tank. So I'm going to be making the shelf for Bessie again. I told you um, earlier in the video that this whole thing ended up becoming practice. Basically, I'm a little overcritical. I did enough or I did it well enough for me to get the job done, which was great. But I do need to um, refine my skills and uh, do a better job i think so i'll be trying again with me trying again obviously means that i'll be filming most likely so hey um if you haven't already please do subscribe and leave a comment down below with a suggestion I'm trying to think is there anything else i need to talk to you guys about while i have your attention nope thanks again as always for watching i really do appreciate your support your feedback your sh your sharing the videos you all of those things, I don't know, all right.